well there. Get away from her! Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns! <laughs>
Tomas, you have protected and served me well. But now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offense to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden. Giving it a big shot for him. Well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway, I heard there's some pride been put on your head and someone's gonna have a crack at you, so watch yourself. And remember me, mate. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so- Alan, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. Then somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now yeah, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention.
Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge. Nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. I got it. Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me. You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a fair slice, you know? Hey, Tommy, man. All my life, treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I gotta go.
Hello? Hello? Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now you do all Auntie Pulea turn, and maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman and the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? Shh. I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The nasty, proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Pule. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Muscle chump. Did you join this? Thank you. 